Hello friends, welcome back. My name is Rebecca. I'm super excited to be coming to you from the Iowa Children's Museum to give you this week's activity, which if you remember a few months back, wow, it's been a few months, we did an experiment where you created shadow puppets. And in that experiment, the shadow puppets had different kinds of materials that were opaque, translucent, and transparent. Do you remember those terms? Because now we're gonna take that up a notch and do another activity with light where we're going to be honing our skills on what is opaque, translucent, and transparent in creating some light viewers. So thinking back, just a quick review, opaque materials means it does not allow light to go through at all. So you cannot see through it at all, so it's something solid. Translucent allows a little bit of light to come through, so you think uh, like sunglasses or um, like a filter, those kinds of things are considered translucent. Transparent is completely clear, allows all light to go through. So in this activity, you're gonna be creating a light viewer where you're gonna be poking holes through an opaque material, and then you're gonna have a translucent material on the other side of your viewer, and you will be able to see light through the holes that you poke of the um, opaque material. So I will show you an example of what this viewer looks like. Well, I'm back with my viewer. So you're gonna be provided materials that are considered opaque and considered translucent. So you won't have anything that's transparent because we don't want all of the light to come through because we wanna be able to see uh, the light underneath our translucent material. So you'll be provided a cardboard tube to which on one side you'll put the opaque material and then on the other side, you will attach your translucent material and then attach with rubber bands. And then you will take a toothpick and poke some holes. You can do a design, you can do a shape. I wrote the word light. Key thing to know, if you're gonna write anything on uh, the opaque material by poking holes, you're gonna do it backwards. And that's kind of curious. You wouldn't think that you'd want to do it backwards, but because the way that the light comes through, it actually flips it. So if you write light this way, it's not gonna be readable, it's gonna be uh, backwards. So you have to write it backwards to be able to see the word light correctly on the other side of um, your translucent material. So to see an example of how this works, we have a clip provided next. Welcome back. In the last clip, you saw how the viewer works. So this is where the experiment gets come into play. You'll be provided multiple flashlights, and with those flashlights, you'll be given different color filters. In that video, you saw that there was a blue filter. There's green, there's red, uh, there's orange. And what those filters do is only allow that color wavelength of light to come through. So the experiment is to see if you can get multiple colors to come through your viewer to see your shape, or the word that you wrote, or whatever design that you make through your opaque material. You want to see if you can get maybe green and blue to come through. Can you get red and blue to come through? The opportunities are endless. Uh, so we hope that you have fun with this experiment. Let us know what kind of viewer you make. And there is an option B if this is a little tricky for you to create kind of a projector where you take um, like plastic wrap and then a solid shape, talking about opacity, that oh, opaque shape won't allow light to go through, so it's kind of like a shadow puppet, but then you'll take your flashlight and project that shape uh, onto a wall or wherever you are. So have fun, and we'll see you later. Thanks for coming to play today.